Hello girls and squirrels, happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Christina Sherilyn and I'm a vintage reseller, which means I rummage through people's unwanted items and find the most amazing vintage pieces to give them a second chance. I love styling up vintage clothing in a modern way, investigating the history of each piece, and most of all, I love the treasure hunt. So follow along on my journey and let's see what we can find. So today, I am not gonna lie to you guys, I had a hard time coming up with what to film today, even though I dropped down to one video a week during this whole quarantine situation, it has been really hard for me to come up with ideas of videos to film because without thrifting, um, I'm just not inspired <laughs> at the moment. I've been taking kind of like a hiatus from social media. I've been on social media a little bit, but I've kind of just taken a step back because it's just not inspiring me right now. It's very draining to me right now. I have come to realize that vintage items are what inspire me. Finding vintage items, being around vintage items, things that tell a story, things that hold history. That is what really, really inspires me. So a couple hours ago, I just had this idea. How about I show you guys my most treasured and near and dear to my heart vintage items that I have collected over the years. And maybe it can give you guys some inspiration as well. So without further ado, I'm going to show you all of my treasures. So I wanna start off with this top. This top, I love the style of it. It's very like pinup girl, very 50s style to me. I actually just got this on Poshmark and I got it for an amazing price because it had a little stain right here, but I was able to get the stain out. So I was really excited about that. But I just love this top. It just makes me feel so chic so sophisticated so very 50s and pinup and retro and i just i love it to pieces i'm so excited about this blouse and i'm excited to have it in my collection now i got this from a shop called laney bug vintage on poshmark i will leave her closet link down below if you guys want to check her out she has some amazing pieces and she has great prices as well so over here I have this beautiful crystal decanter. My sister and I found this at a Goodwill for $7. This thing is solid crystal. It is so heavy. You could definitely use this as a weapon. So when we found this, my sister was like, you need glasses to go with it, obviously. Um, and so we looked around and we found these glasses. Now, I do believe that these glasses are like fancy dessert glasses, like for sherbet or ice cream but they're just so fancy and I love them and they really go well with the decanter. Um, we couldn't find the fourth one. I'm assuming that it got broken, uh, but I honestly think that three is a more aesthetically pleasing number anyways. And it has red wine in it right now uh, because I've become very obsessed with Vampire Diaries and Damon and Stefan have all these beautiful crystal decanters filled with blood because they're vampires. So um, yeah, I'm going to do a little Instagram photo shoot with this. I have something in mind. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, go do so so you don't miss out on that picture. Moving on, we have this blackberry flavored brandy bottle. I can't remember what year it's from. It was on the tag and of course I threw away the tag like a dummy. Uh, but it is George Washington and fun little fact I actually share a birthday with George Washington so I kind of have a weird obsession with him and I just thought this bottle was really cool. Um, so once I get a bar cart this will be a very good addition. So this piece is actually something that I got on Poshmark. Um, it's just this little brass uh, pocket chain little like coin catcher. It is so cute. I saw this actually in a Sorry Girls video. Becky had thrifted one and I just had to have one in my life. So I actually found this one on Poshmark. Um, they're not rare or anything. You can actually find um, a lot of them on eBay. There's a lot of listings of these on Poshmark too, but I just thought it was super cool. And it's very, I don't know, it's just very unique and just something really fun to add to like the top of a dresser or like a console by your door. I just think these are the cutest. One thing that I've become very obsessed with collecting is vintage postcards. I just think that they are so intimate. They tell such a story and it's such an honor just to be able to own something like this. I think that postcards or cards or diaries or journals, they are the most intimate items. Someone put 
a lot of their heart and soul into those items. They took the time to purchase those items, write their thoughts on them, and either keep them or give them to a loved one. And I just think there's nothing more intimate in the world. And it is such an honor just to own someone's thoughts. You know what I mean? It's just so inspiring to me. So this is one of my favorites. Um, it's a Tux postcard. It is from England. Um, the date is smudged off, so I'm not sure what um, decade this is from. I want to say it's probably... I don't know, anywhere from like the 50s to the 70s. Um, if someone has any idea, let me know down in the comments. But the reason I love it so much is because it says, this is the street where I spent many nights just wandering around. And I think that is just the most incredible thing. Oh, it's so good. Every time I look at it, I get inspired. So anytime I go into an antique store, I always find the box of vintage postcards and just go through them and see what little treasures I can pull out. I only paid like $2 for this. They usually don't go for a lot of money, obviously, and it takes a special person like me to actually want them, but I just think this is so awesome. And this is definitely one of my most treasured pieces. So if you've been following me for a while, you've probably already seen this dress. It's just a vintage nightgown. It is just so stunning though. I love this detail on the bust and the neckline. And this skirt is just so like flowy and it swings so nicely. I will only ever wear this in my house probably or to like a special occasion. Uh, but it just makes me feel like I'm, you know, Liesl Von Trapp and I'm just, you know, a whimsical lady. And I love it so much and I will never get rid of it. So this dress is another dress that I am just obsessed with and I will hardly ever wear. I'm gonna wear it uh, as like a 1920s costume for like Halloween. It is 100% silk, all the beads are intact and it is so stunning. I've been on the hunt for like a flapper style dress for a really long time. So when I came across this one, I had to have it. I will never sell it because it is just too beautiful. Um, I don't, it's obviously not from the 20s. I want to say it's probably like from the 80s, um, but I got to do more research on it. If I find anything before I upload this video, I'll put it on the screen. But look at these. Look at these sleeves. Look at those tassels. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. I could just stand here and just like touch it all day. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it so much. So this right here is a bell that I found. I think I got this right when I moved to Georgia. I had had bells like this pinned on Pinterest and I had them saved on my Etsy, like in my Etsy favorites, but I couldn't ever find one for less than like $50 and I didn't really want it that bad. Um, so I just kind of put it in the, you know, forefront of my mind to keep an eye out for it. And I finally found one in a thrift store. I think I paid maybe like $6 for it and I love it so much. I am a little terrified that it's gonna ring in the middle of the night, but it's totally fine. At least the ghosts will let me know they're coming in. Um, it's just so beautiful and I can't wait to have a home of my own where I can just hang this by the front door um, and like have it above the front door so that when someone comes in it hits it and rings. I just think it's so cool. You always see them in like old stores and oh, I just love the look of it. It's so pretty. So this little guy I actually got on eBay. You guys know my favorite animal is the raccoon. Um, and when I saw this little guy, I just had to pick him up. This is real, I wanna say rabbit fur, um, but it is from the 1950s. It is very kitschy. It's not necessarily my style, but I just had to have him. He's too stinking cute. And I look at him every day and his little happy face and it just brings me so much joy. So this right here is actually a little pocket English to French dictionary. It's from the 1950s. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's kind of delicate just because of its age, but it is so cool. I've always wanted to learn French. I'm, you know, obviously have had a very hard time learning. It's a very difficult language to learn, uh, but I just think this is awesome. And just to think that somebody had this while they were in France, traveling around, making memories, and they had this in their pocket, that just makes me 
so incredibly happy. I got this from a girl on Etsy. I think I paid like $10 for it, uh, but it's just so cool. Like it just sits in my little, um, I have a shadow box full of like little trinkets that I find or buy um, from other vintage sellers and it just sits in there, but I just think it's so cool and I love looking at it and just thinking about the person who owned it before me. So this is actually a locket that I got on Poshmark. It is a just a little vintage gold locket and I've always wanted this style locket um, but I really was drawn to this one because of the engraving on the front. I think it's just so dainty and so beautiful. I put a little piece of paper in there that says my hopes and dreams so when someone asks me what's in your locket I can say my hopes and dreams literally <laughs> uh, but it's just really cool and it's something that I wear a lot and very much treasure and last but certainly not least we have this lampshade you guys saw me haul this recently I think I got it about a month ago at a Goodwill I paid four dollars for it and it is just the fanciest little lampshade it makes me feel like such a lady every night before I go to bed I turn it off and I just feel so elegant <laughs> I love it so much and then of course I got the brown lamp to go with it but the lampshade is the real star here she is stunning she is beautiful I will never get rid of her oh she just makes me feel so sophisticated and inspired Alrighty, so that does it for today's video I hope it brought you some inspiration and joy today let me know down in the comments below what your most prized possession is I would love to know what your favorite piece in your collection is so let me know down in the comments below if you like this video please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our family we would love to have you I put new videos out every Friday and I will see you guys next week bye guys